Hey guys, welcome to RG Videos. On my previous video, the new Rolex 41 seemed to look a lot bigger than the GMT on the screen. I think this was due to camera angles, so I wanted to do a follow-up video and hopefully answer all the questions along the way. Today we will use a digital caliper to take some overall measurements and hopefully help you guys decide if the 41 sub is right for you. As a recap, I have a six inch wrist, which is on the smaller side. As one of my subscribers put it, hashtag baby wrist. So, one of the first things um, I was asked is how many links are on the watch? I currently have four links on each side, which gives me a nice fitted feel and look on a six inch wrist. Another popular question I got was, what's the measurement lug to lug? So on the new 41 sub, lug to lug, we're looking at 48 millimeters. While on the GMT, is 47.9 if we go across the GMT we're currently at 44.2 while the Submariner is at 44.7 so very minor difference there the thickness on the Submariner is 12.5 uh, millimeters while the thickness on the GMT sits at 12 millimeters. I think the overall look of the watch that makes it seem bigger is on the bezel. The bezel on the GMT sits about, let's get, make sure we, 40.2 on the GMT. while 40.6 on the new Submariner. I think the biggest difference um, visually to the eye without using a measuring tool is definitely on the bracelet. Visually, you can see the difference, especially when you look towards the clasp. So coming out of the case, the bracelet measures 20.5 while on the GMT, 19.5. So you have a whole millimeter difference coming out of the case. The thickness on the clasp sits at 17.5 on the GMT. While 18.6 on the Submariner. The length of the clasp sits at 45.3 on the Submariner. And 36.5 on the GMT. That's where one of the biggest differences is on the watch. Um, with that said, I still think it's one of the best wearing models. And I definitely think this is the best bracelet to date for their Submariner slash GMT models. Give you a quick close up. Like I mentioned before, to the eye, it's a very close case. I think Rolex did an amazing job tapering the case. Thickness overall about the same. I think the biggest visual is definitely on the bracelet. But even with that said, I still think it's the best wearing bracelet of them all. All right, guys, I hope this answered most of your questions. If I missed anything, drop me a comment. Thanks again for watching.